Hell y'all, in the video game Hardspiring 4, there are a lot of countries who can have very different leaders depending on their ideology and on the focuses they complete in their national focus tree. In this video, we will take a look at the leaders of Estonia. I will show you every Estonian leader, then I will tell you about their ideology, how to get them, and I will also explain what they did in real life. Let's start things off with Jan Tonison, who is representing democracy. He comes to power via the focus, break the silence. Tonison historically was a prime minister of Estonia, a state elder, which is a title that acted as both head of state and of government, and he was the foreign minister of Estonia from 1931 to 1932. Up next is Konstantin Patz, who is not aligned in terms of ideology, and is in charge of the Estonian nation in 1936. In our timeline, Pats was an extremely influential politician during the interwar period in Estonia and was the head of government there five times. Estonia was occupied by the USSR in 1940 during his presidency. And number three is Johannes Kabin. He is a communist. He can get in charge of the country if the focus overthrow Ism Ali is done. In real life, Kabin was the leader of the Communist Party of Estonia from 1950 to 1978. After Estonia established its re-independence, he became a member of the Social Democratic Labour Party. Number four has arrived, and it is Jan Anfeldt, another advocate of communism. He can come to power if you complete the focuses, overthrow Ism Ali, and enter opposition. Anfeld historically was a leader of the Communist Party of Estonia and the first premier of the Soviet Executive Committee of Estonia and the chairman of the Council of the Commune of the Working People of Estonia. He died in 1937 as a victim of Joseph Stalin's Great Purge. Here we have our final leader, and it is Artur Zurk, who represents fascism in game. He may become in charge of the country by doing the focus, the march on Tallinn. In our world, Zurk was a veteran of the Estonian War of Independence. He later became a leading figure in the Estonian nationalist, anti-communist, populist, Vaps movement. Like his ideological opposite, Jan Anfeldt, Zurk also died in 1937. His cause of death was hitting the ground after falling out of a hotel window. This has been all of the Estonian leaders for Hearts Barn 4. Who would you pick to lead Estonia? Tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.